The MM Oncology workflow steps are located in the left-hand corner of the screen. Singo, via by default, is configured to automatically select the appropriate layout based upon the modality or number of time points loaded into the workflow. To change your layout, enter the layout gallery by single-clicking the icon. In the layout gallery, you have both private and public layouts to choose from. Private layouts are those created or selected by you to utilize on a routine basis. These private layouts will be available to you every time you log in to streamline your access to the desired layouts. Public layouts are those available to all users on the system. Also, only those layouts available to be displayed on your monitor setup will be displayed. In this example, only widescreen single monitor layouts are provided. If there is a layout you will consistently use, simply click, drag, and drop into Private Layouts. This layout will now be listed in Private Layouts for quick access during future login. If by chance you would prefer this layout to be your default, simply right-click and select Set as Default. The layout will now launch every time you open MM Oncology. The icons on the lower left portion of the screen can be used for display manipulation. The alignment icons are used to adjust spatial alignment between time points or adjust spatial alignments within a time point. If you believe the spatial alignment between time points is suboptimal, you can manipulate this by utilizing the Adjust Spatial Alignment Between Time Points icon. To adjust the alignment between data sets, either click on the icon or utilize the keyboard short combination by Control shift a The data sets are now unlocked across time points. By holding down the right mouse button and pushing the mouse toward or away, you can scroll through the data set to determine an appropriate reference point to align to, in this example, the Carina. If the database set needs to be panned, hold down the left mouse button and drag the image to the desired location. Repeat the steps for each time point. Once the alignment is complete, either click the icon or utilize keyboard short combination keys Control shift a The data sets are now locked and scrolling is synchronized again. If you would like to create a fast alignment while in a segment, hold down the Control shift keys and then scroll in the desired segment to align the data sets. Upon the release of Control shift the data sets will be locked immediately. When working with fused data sets, you may feel that the pet data set is either too sensitive or not sensitive enough when overlaid on the CT data set. To modify the overlay, utilize the Alpha Blend tool which is located on the bottom of each segment. Simply hover over the icon and hold the left mouse button to Alpha Blend from 100% CT to 100% PET, which will change to inverse gray or anywhere in between. Also, since the display only visualizes fused datasets in each plane, you have the ability to easily change between the fused CT and PET datasets. The keyboard short key F9 can be utilized to cycle between the CT, PET, and fused dataset. Singo VIA has been designed to provide quick access to the tools needed for your daily clinical routine. Notice that when the mouse is in the segment, icons are visible in the corner. The corner menus follow to whichever segment the mouse cursor is in. By having the corner menus on each segment, this provides a quick and efficient way to quantify and manipulate your images. The upper left corner menu provides access to tools used to manipulate the image. To access these tools, simply move your mouse over the icon and the list of tools will populate. Those tools highlighted in blue are currently active. If you need to adjust the registration of a PET CT dataset, utilize visual alignment. A rotate wheel is displayed and the overlaid image can be panned by holding the left mouse button and moving the mouse. 
The overlaid image can also be rotated by holding the left mouse button over the wheel and moving the mouse to the left or right. The lower left corner menu will allow you to select the type of image displayed on the image segment. Again, to access the tools, simply move your mouse over the icon and the tools will populate. The upper right corner menu will provide access to tools that will allow you to quantify and create measurements on your patient dataset. Again, to access these tools, simply move your mouse over the icon and the tools will appear. If you are using the persist criteria, both the liver reference region and the blood pool reference region can be automatically placed. If the patient has a healthy liver with no disease, the liver reference region can be utilized. If the liver is diseased, the blood pool reference region should be utilized. To create the region, click on the reference VOI icon and the region will be automatically placed on the image. The persist threshold for the data set is displayed. A finding with the SUV above this threshold could potentially be abnormal. The lower right corner menu provides access to your windowing and preset tools. Again, to access these tools, simply move your mouse over the icon and the tools will appear. The SUV parameters allow you to visualize and edit the parameters used to calculate SUV values. If you would like the SUV based on lean body mass, you will need to verify that the height and weight are input into the workflow. An EQ filter can also be entered in the SUV parameters. By utilizing the EQ filter, studies with different reconstructions or from different scanners can now be quantified by harmonizing to a standard. To acquire the appropriate EQ filters, a NEMA phantom examination will need to be performed on the scanner for each reconstruction you will be utilizing. The phantom is quantified and filters are determined for the specific reconstruction on the individual system. The corner menus provide quick and efficient access to those tools needed to quantify your patient data set. Singo VIA takes the efficiency one step further by providing a context menu. The context menu provides tools right at your cursor. To access the context menu, Simply right-click and the context menu will open. The context menu provides default tools that are routinely utilized in MM Oncology. You have the capability to add tools to the context menu that you will utilize on a routine basis by sending them to the context menu from the corner menus. The context menu configuration will be saved for any future logon. After the persist threshold has been determined, Quantification of the patient can begin. Navigation is possible across any of the slice planes. The rotating MIP can be stopped by moving your cursor into the segment and clicking with the center mouse button. The MIP can also be controlled by moving the cursor to the bottom center of the segment and clicking the pause icon. To rotate the pause MIP, hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to the left or right. To navigate, left-click on the lesion you would like to quantify. To turn the VOI tool on, right-click to enter the context menu. The center scroll wheel can be utilized as not to move the cursor off the lesion of interest. Left-click on the Rhesus WHO plus VOI ISO contour. Hold the left mouse button and drag to encompass the lesion you would like to quantify. The lesion findings are displayed providing values for the max, peak, and threshold. To edit what is displayed in the finding, enter the upper right corner menu, right-click on Rhesus WHO plus VOI ISO Contour and click VOI ISO Contour Properties. The finding evaluations can then be selected by left-clicking to either check or uncheck those you would like to be displayed and then clicking OK. For quicker quantification, the tool will stay active until the escape key is pressed. To encompass an ellipsoidal lesion, hold the shift key, hold left-click and drag over the lesion. Now that lesions have been quantified, 
they can be compared to prior examination's findings. Enter the Cause Navigator by moving your cursor over the arrow on the left-hand side of the screen and clicking on the Findings Detail icon in the Findings Navigator. The chart displayed is a quick reference to compare the study parameters of each examination. Parameters of interest could be the patient's weight, dose, delay time, and reconstruction method. To compare the results, click on the Trending tab. In the Trending tab, a lesion can be selected from the Findings Navigator and trended over time. The graph axis show percent change as well as the SUV value. To modify the baseline, simply click and drag the red line to the desired baseline. The percent change axis will update immediately. To visualize another lesion, simply click on the finding in the findings navigator. The graph can display multiple metrics including max, volume, peak, and EQ. With Singo via MM Oncology being a cross-modality software, it provides the capability to not only quantify the PET data, but also the CT data. To begin, let's change the CT windowing to Lung to better visualize the lungs. The Automatic Segmentation tool is located in the upper right corner menu. By left-clicking on the arrow, Notice that there are automatic segmentation tools for the lung, liver, lymph node, as well as generic algorithm. Left-click to select the lung lesion segmentation. To quantify the PET dataset, simply click in the center of the lesion. A PET isocontour will be created. To quantify the CT dataset, left-click on the center of the lesion and the rhesus WHO and volume results will automatically be calculated. A target lesion toolbar will appear on the lower portion of the segment providing tools to edit the boundaries of the CT lesion if desired. When planning for therapy and you would like to utilize a region of interest either created on a PET or CT examination, you will need to create a target volume. To create a target volume, right-click on the desired segmentation and click Copy Measurement. On the Planning CT, Right-click and click Paste as Target Volume. The region will be placed on the planning CT as the target volume. A nudge tool will appear at the bottom of the segment, allowing for modification of the GTV. If you would like to modify the volume, click on the nudge icon. The closer the mouse is to the GTV boundary, the smaller the nudge disk will be. The further away from the GTV boundary, the larger the disk will be. Click and hold to nudge the GTV boundary. The RT Connect Workflow step has appeared and lists the GTV volume. The volume can be renamed or deleted here. Upon completion of the examination, the volume will be saved as a radiation therapy structure set. If a patient data set needs to be presented at a tumor board or industry event where you will not have access to your Singo via network, the OncoBoard feature can be utilized. Once the desired findings and snapshots have been created, click on the OncoBoard icon. All of the series currently displayed in the layout will be available. Select a maximum of two series to be sent to OncoBoard and click OK. Choose the destination folder, which can be pre-existing OncoBoard location, and click Next. The data can be encrypted and the encryption password set. Upon clicking Next, a final confirmation is presented before sending the data. After clicking Send, a progress status will appear and provide information when the case has successfully been sent or why it has failed. To launch OncoBoard, navigate to the Destination folder and double-click on the OncoBoard.exe. The case is decompressed and the encryption password will need to be entered if one was selected. 
The data selection screen is displayed and the appropriate patients or studies can be selected. Tools can be accessed from the toolbar or the in-segment right-click menu. Multiple layouts are also provided. The MM Oncology findings are listed under bookmarks.